Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about the book called Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins, but before we get there, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the author herself. In case you didn't know, Suzanne Collins was also a screenplay writer for Nickelodeon and helped write some of the stories for shows such as Closer Clarissa Explains It All. Other than that, Suzanne Collins made a great impression on young adult literature when she wrote The Hunger Games. That debuted in September 2008 and was originally intended for readers 12 years old and up. And immediately it became a New York Times bestseller and it was even called addictive by other famous authors such as Stephen King and Stephanie Meyer. Catching Fire, the second novel after The Hunger Games and the second installment in, this, in The Hunger Games trilogy, had the same success and appeared number one on the USA Today bestseller list. Now, like I said, today we're going to be talking about the last installment of the Hunger Games series by Suzanne Collins called Mockingjay. From reading Catching Fire, readers know that Katniss and Peter return to fight in their arena for the 75th annual Hunger Games, also known as the Quarter Quell. Along with the remaining li living victors of the past Hunger Games, they're thrown back into the arena and forced to deal with even more horrors that they had to deal with in the first one. And the capital seems determined to destroy Katniss because of her rebellion that she has stirred up in the districts. In Mockingjay, Katniss is forced to become the symbol of rebellion and hope for the districts. And the book follows her role in the rebel army as it goes to war against the capital. She, as well as other escape victors, are targeted as enemies against the capital and have to destroy it without being detected. Throughout the story, Katniss struggles with the loss of her loved ones and the war ahead of her, but she also struggles to define the love triangle between herself, Gail, and Peta. I really feel like this book would appeal to any reader, but especially to young adult audience, because it deals with subjects that they, I feel like, would really be interested in. I feel like they would really be captivated by the subject of war and love and all the action that is involved in it and just the storyline. It's got a great story to it. But I also feel like they um, would need to read the previous installments to the Hunger Games trilogy before getting to Catching Fire to really get the full effect of it and get the same closure that uh, Katniss and her family and friends do at the very end of uh, Mockingjay. But I think that this is a great book, and I think that it should be used in every classroom. I know that I enjoyed Mockingjay as well as Catching Fire in the Hunger Games, and I hope that you will too.